Congratulations. Whether you just found out that you're pregnant or you're actively planning for a pregnancy, I'm sure that you have several questions about which prenatal supplement would best fit your needs. So today we're going to discuss some of the key nutrients that you want to look for in your prenatal supplement choices. First off, the key recommendation is folic acid. In order to help ensure the safety of your baby's development, you want to look for at least 400 micrograms of folic acid in your supplement. All of the big brands should offer the 400 micrograms and you'll also receive some folic acid in natural fortification of the foods that you're consuming on a daily basis. The second key nutrient that you want to look for is iodine. The American Academy of Pediatrics recently recommended that all pregnant women supplement with 150 micrograms of iodine a day. Not all of the supplements have the updated recommendations, so you do want to take a moment just to review your supplement choice to ensure that you have 150 micrograms of this supplemental nutrient. You'll also receive iodine from some food sources, including dairy and iodide salt. The third nutrient of consideration is iron. You can work with your OB provider to determine whether or not you need to actively supplement with iron in your first trimester. Some women that are struggling with morning sickness may want to hold off as long as they're not anemic. So as your pregnancy progresses, work with your OB provider to ensure that your iron status is adequate to prevent anemia. So these supplements will differ in their iron content. Some of my moms that are struggling with that nausea and vomiting in their first trimester may opt for a gummy and this will not contain any iron. So we want to just make sure that you're consuming iron from your food sources and that your blood levels are adequate. If you find in your pregnancy that you require a supplemental iron, the recommendation is 27 milligrams a day. You'll find varying contents in the various supplements out on the market. And so just take a moment to ensure that you're getting at least 27 milligrams of iron from your prenatal supplement to help prevent anemia later in your pregnancy. Another really important nutrient during your pregnancy is calcium. Most women do not realize that their prenatal supplement will not supply the adequate 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day. So it's very important to work in dietary sources of calcium. Most prenatal supplements will contain up to 200 milligrams of calcium in one single supplement. And the reason why that is is because calcium is such a large mineral, they just can't add that to all the other minerals and have a, the size of a prenatal supplement that you can tolerate. So I encourage you to, to get grounded and take a moment. These two examples do not contain any calcium, so you'll just want to make sure that you're consuming at least three servings of dairy foods a day and span those out throughout the day because you're going to absorb calcium the best in about five to 600 milligrams at a time. If your prenatal does have some calcium, then you can at least add in uh, 200 milligrams from that source and then just try to strive for at least two servings of dairy foods a day, as well as some of the dark leafy greens that can also provide supplemental calcium in, um, to ensure all of your needs are met. The last nutrient that you want to consider during pregnancy is omega-3 DHA fats. Currently, we're recommending that all pregnant women consider eating two servings of fish each week. Some of my pregnant moms are a little bit cautious because they've heard about concerns of the mercury in the fish that they're consuming. So a really handy resource that I like to use is the Monterey Bay Aquarium's Safe Seafood Watch. You can research which fish are gonna be the lowest in mercury and the safest for you and your baby. Now, if you'd rather supplement with uh, DHA omega-3 fats rather than eating the fish regularly, then you can consider looking for either a supplement that already contains DHA, and most will contain about 200 milligrams of the DHA omega-3 fats. Now, if you find that you've been opting for something like a gummy because of your nausea in the mornings, you'll notice that there isn't any DHA in this uh, type of supplement. Otherwise, some of the more whole foods versions, which are wonderful resources for my pregnant moms, may not contain the DHA as, as well. So what you can consider is just adding in a handy, useful prenatal DHA supplement uh, in and of itself. I love the Nordic Naturals brand. It's got great research and very clean source of the DHA omega-3 fats. So as you explore your supplement options, I encourage you to reach out to your OB team to really think through which supplement is going to best meet all of your needs and to promote the health of your developing baby.